Bienvenue à Race TV. Hi, I'm Mitch Docker and you're watching Race TV. What's warmer? Hell, the depths of hell, or stage eight of the Tour de France? Peloton. The Tour de France for sure. The answer is obviously the Tour de France. Hopefully I'll never find out. I haven't been to hell, but <laughs> I've gone to hell. Something's gone wrong. I don't know, maybe last year coming into Carcassonne, I was pretty hot. But this year hasn't been too hot. We see, we see where we are going this year. Uh, so today, go for the break. I think this is a chance that some of the sprinters teams don't want to ride today. It's it's a different finish. It is a hard final and also uh, uphill the last 800 meters. So hopefully there will be uh, some of the, the sprinter teams are happy to to try out from from the very race and then not the. Uh, not go for a sprint today. So Magnus, Alberto and uh, Andre have all got the right profile to form here. I mean the focus would be 100% on, uh, on Magnus and Betio because both of them can win out of a large break on a finish like this. You shouldn't ride in the back of the peloton. You will feel the wind definitely tail right hand side and is it's gonna strength the peloton a lot. We are waiting here in the wild jungle of the Dordogne, waiting for some cyclists to come and find us. So far we've not found any, but soon I think they'll be coming. Giuseppe, what's for lunch today? Bananas. So, what we have today is, it's a hot day, it's 30 plus degrees. It's only the second day of the tour that we've had plus 30 degrees. It's not too hot here yet. It could get pretty toasty. So what we have are electric coolers in the car. And in our electric coolers, I will show you, we're running them at minus 20 and we've got a whole bunch of ice socks. So you can see in here, we've got ice socks, which the guys will place around their neck to keep them cool. Uh, but also we have these from Never Seconds, which are ice gels. Now these create a frozen like slurry. It's a bit like a slush puppy. And all that does is when they take that on, ingest it, goes into the stomach, helps bring down core temperature. So the guys can reduce that temperature of their core, of course, and help them ride harder and not get as overheated. Two gels, one of each flavor. Yep. And ice gel. Perfect. <laughs> I would say short and sweet, but it wasn't really short kind of long and it wasn't really sweet so that'd be a lie. Sometimes when you have we'll call it too many teams interested in getting in the break they kind of all cancel each other out and then the break just doesn't go. We arrived with the end with Alberta and we tried with him and yeah. Today was a big missed opportunity for a big break to go. Didn't happen. There's going to be a lot of teams disappointed in that. It happens in every single Grand Tour, and especially the Tour de France. Is that early in the race, the breakaways are pretty easy to get into because everyone's thinking, oh, we've got bigger ambitions. So there's maybe only a few people trying to get in the breakaway. So the later you get in the race, the more teams realize well, wait a minute, we haven't done anything in this race. We've got no one on GC, we've got no one in the mountains classification, we've got no one for the sprints, we've got no stage wins, we've got nothing. And so then the quest to get into the breakaways becomes more and more intense. And that happens all the way up. I mean, it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. And okay, it finally calms down at the Champs Elysees. Tomorrow is the day that matters. 
Definitely, yeah. I'll do my best to get as many points as I can tomorrow. What do you know about tomorrow's stage? Uh, that the finish is uh, probably the hardest one that we've had yet. So, um, yeah, it's going to be all in for that last climb. Hello, I'm Magnus Kort. Welcome to my crib. It's not much room, but we have a little bit of space. Some uh, space here to dry the, the clothes. Yeah, from yesterday, a small toilet out here. If uh, the beds are really close together, we have room for, for both the suitcases, so uh, that's a, a plus. I think mine uh, weighs like uh, one third of, uh, of James. Yeah, and some art. I haven't uh, stayed here yet, I've basically just arrived, so uh, I think I pref prefer to come with the rating uh, tomorrow when, uh, when I've actually been here for a night. I guess the last question I have for you is who wins in an arm wrestling competition, Seth or Nielsen? Well, let's check his arm. There's only one Ooh. answer to this question. It's Nielsen. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, that thing FDG? No, I, I don't expect any fistfights on top of Puy de Dome, no. No, I would say that's, that's unlikely. 